All right, Valentine's Day just a few days away, so we thought it'd be kind of fun to put our matchmaking skills to the test. That is right. We love to matchmake. It's time for another edition of Hoda and Jenna Hook Me Up. Uh huh. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to play a little dating game. Mm -hmm. We have three amazing bachelors we're going to meet in a moment. But first, let's get to know our bachelorette. She's one of our favorites around here, Naz Perez. Let's take a look. Hello, friends. I'm Naz Perez, and I am a TV host, a film critic, and a frequent contributor to the Today Show with Hoda and Jenna. I have a very full life. I love my job. I get to interview the biggest stars about their biggest projects. I love my friends. Friendship is so important to me, and I'm so lucky I have the greatest friends in the world. And I love helping people get through heartbreak through a support group I founded called Heartbroken Anonymous. But finding love is at the top of my priority list for 2024, and I'm just a hopeful romantic, and I'd love to find a man who is romantic, charismatic, sexy, loves to lead, creative, funny, and has a full life too. So Hoda and Jenna, hook me up. All right, let's do uh, it, Naz. Okay, so Naz, yes. you, you were just out here going, I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm doing this. Why did you decide you were going to do this? Because I really want to put myself out there. You yeah. guys know I used to work on The Bachelor. Mm -hmm. I know you, I actually believe you can find love on TV. Mm -hmm. And out of all the appearances I've made on TV, this is the one my mom's most proud of. Aww. So this is for you, Mom. Okay. Well, putting yourself out there is smart. So we're going to ask, and actually you're going to ask some of our bachelors a couple questions, and then you're going to choose your match. But first, mm -hmm. shall we meet our bachelors? Let's do it. Bachelor number one is J Jate Chessel. He's 30 years old and he works as an account manager for a chemical distributor. He's a self-proclaimed foodie who loves to work out and being outdoors. Hi, Jate. All right, and we should keep in mind that Naz can't see the bachelors and the bachelors can't see Naz. Bachelor number two is Hi, Jake. David <laughs> Akko Ab Abunal. He's a 28-year-old lawyer right here in New York City. He loves to travel. He's been to more than 26 wow. countries. Wow. He played Division One soccer in college. Let's go. And he cute. I just saw him. Hi, Dave. <laughs> they all cute. They're all cute. Dave, they all cute. Wow. Yeah. All Don't right. let Hoda ch ch They're all cute. fool you. They're all very handsome. <laughs> Last but not least, bachelor number three, it's Joe Rivera. He's a 28-year-old personal fitness trainer. He was born and raised here in New York City. He's an avid beachgoer, and he loves painting. He also plays the guitar, a real renaissance man. Hey, Joe. Joe, Joe's I'm here for the guitar. Oh, Come on, all cuties. All right, now, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to ask these three eligible bachelors your first question. So go ahead. Okay, here we go. First of all, thank you, everyone, for doing this. You're my fairy godmothers, and I'm such a catch. Okay, here we go. <laughs> question one. I'm a host and film critic, and I think taste in movies says a lot about a person. What is your all-time favorite rom-com, and why? Bachelor number one, you go first. Rom-com. Great question. I would say my favorite all-time rom-com is going to have to be Crazy Stupid Love. Ooh. I mean, so good. A-plus cast, right? Ryan Gosling, Steve Carell, Emma Stone. Uh, and I just love the story. You have two guys kind of wandering this world, and they have to fill this void that they're both missing in their life, and they both come together to help fill that void. So I think it's a great story. Well thought Ooh. out. I love that. Also, Ryan Gosling rom-com? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay, Bachelor number two with your favorite rom-com. Very interesting question. Um, I'd have to go with She's the Man. Uh, some people might not consider it a rom-com, but as a former soccer player, it just really combines finding love with my passion for soccer. So definitely She's the Man. Cool. I love that. Also, nice. peak Channing Tatum. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, bachelor number three. Uh, both good choices. My favorite rom-com, I'm going to have to go with Hitch. Um, yes. He's a dating coach. I'm a personal trainer. What's the difference? Um, <laughs> yeah, really, I'm a romantic at heart looking for love. So we're going with Hitch. Okay, I love that bachelor number three. Hitch is so good. Okay, question number two, guys. I'm all about good communication, so what emoji best describes you and why, <laughs> bachelor number one? Good one, good one. I mean, if you're going to go through my texts right now, I'm probably going to be using the laughing emoji the most. <laughs> uh, just trying to make light of the situation, always having a good time. But then if I were to create an emoji, I would have to introduce the chef's kiss. Ooh. Oh! Chef's so kiss. creative. Foodie. I love a good chef's Foodie. kiss. Okay. <laughs> Bachelor number two, what's your favorite emoji? So I love this question. I definitely have to go with the dancing man emoji. Uh, I love dancing. I'm busting a little move for you right now, but you can't see me, though. Uh, I love dancing, loving having a good time. So um, if we went on a first date, definitely got to end with dancing. Ooh. Oh, my God. I love a good dance. Yes. I like his personality. Okay, Bachelor number three. Love that. Uh, my favorite emoji, going to have to go with the ninja emoji. Um, I am a lifelong martial artist and black belt. Wow. Uh, prefer to be out of the spotlight. You couldn't tell based on what I'm doing. Ooh, um, serious. But, yes, very aware of my surroundings and, and the people I'm with, just like a ninja. 
Okay, I love it. Ripped and mysterious. Okay, guys. So, question number three. Valentine's Day is in yeah. two days. I like a guy who can be spontaneous. How would you make Valentine's mm. Day special with very little time to plan it? Bachelor number one. Okay, so I would say I'm getting us into the first cooking class that we can do because I got to make sure that you can cook because I love to eat. Followed by that, we're probably going to be doing a dance lesson. I'll probably take you a little salsa dancing. Being a former basketball player, I like a girl with some rhythm, so I got to see that you have some rhythm. Okay. Well, I definitely have oh, rhythm. Yeah. Yes, okay, bachelor number two. Uh, well, first, I just want to say it's not the amount of time, but the thought you put into Valentine's Day, right? So yeah. what I would have us do is I'd get you that dress that I know you've had your eye on, along with your favorite flowers, um, followed by dinner at Manhattan, which has a beautiful Ooh. view of the city. And we'd end the night with some, you know, some ice cream, maybe some massages, and we'd watch a silly rom-com together. Oh, my God. Ice cream's like, babe! Yes. Okay, bachelor number three. Yeah, so minimal time, um, you know, try to appeal to as many senses as possible. So start with the smell at the Botanical Gardens up in the Bronx, where I'm from. Um, we'll head over to Arthur Ave, get some good pasta, uh, feel good food, and hopefully finish the night uh, watching some rom-coms, having a good time. Oh, All right. Like ending All right. With rom -coms. Okay, we want you to marinate, Naz. Okay. Okay, think about what happened. Don't forget who was who. And when we come back, Naz is going to make her choice. Ah! She sure is. Which bachelor will it be? We're going to find out right after this. Woo! All right, we're back with another edition of Hoda and Jenna. Hook me up. We're going to try to find our friend and pop culture expert, Naz Perez. And Naz. Okay, Naz has one more question for these three eligible bachelors before she makes her final decision. Naz, go ahead. Okay, guys, this is a really important question because you guys all sound so great. So, I want to hear from each of you. Why would you be my perfect match? Bachelor number one. I would be your perfect match because I'm going to make you smile the whole time. You're going to be laughing. I know you're going to be eating well. And we're going to be crushing the dance floor every time we go out. Mm. Okay, I love that. I love his voice. Yeah. Okay, bachelor number two. <laughs> I'm your perfect match because you're guaranteed to have a good time and you'll never be bored. It's that simple. I love it. Straight into the point. Yeah. Okay, bachelor number three. <laughs> love that. Yeah, I'm all about experience. So we're going to be traveling, having a good time, trying new things. I um, also pride myself on being a good listener, um, mm. which is very important in relationships. Hey, okay. I love that. Okay, I just want to say something. Yeah. You can't go wrong. No. I don't actually know how you're going to pick. I really don't. Can I go but, with all three of them? But here's well, the thing. So. Do that on your own time. I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding Mom. <laughs> You are going to have to actually have to say goodbye to two of these guys. Oh, my gosh. So awesome. we are going to eliminate two of, the, of oh. these incredible tens. Ugh. All right. So let us know who you're going to eliminate first and then second. Okay. This is so hard, <laughs> but I'm first going to eliminate bachelor number two, which I, at first I was like, oh, oh my God, we yeah. go dancing. But I just wanted a little more from the last answer. Okay. Well, yeah, but they told him to okay. go short. They told him to cut it short. Oh, keep going. Yes. <laughs> okay. Keep going. That's okay. okay. So bachelor number two. Okay. Okay, then, come on out, well, no, bachelor number two, come on out. Oh! We told you, we no, tried to tell you. They told you why? Because you rapped quickly because they asked you to. I know. But we know, please. It's okay, call By me the way, later. call me later, she just I'm said. <laughs> okay, and okay, the wait, second. You're leaving? <laughs> oh, you have to walk away? I, I, I gotta go. Okay, bye. Okay, wow. bye. We'll find somebody else to say you up with. Thank you. Don't you worry. <laughs> okay. okay. The next person you're going to say goodbye to is? Okay, this is so hard. Um... I think I'm just gonna go with Bachelor. You're gonna get. You're gonna. You're getting rid of somebody. Don't, don't, Sorry. Don't say oh, it like that. Right, right. What are you saying uh, goodbye to? Okay, I'm saying goodbye to Bachelor number three. All right. Oh, bachelor number three. It's bachelor number three. Because he's traveled so much. And oh. I'm The Pebble Bar, which is fab, it's where we like to go and have a cocktail. It's across the street. It's happy to host the two of you for drinks and, and shared share. plates so wow. y'all can get to know each other. Perfect. Maybe Perfect. tonight. I don't know. Are you around tonight, Naz? Yes, I am. Okay, okay. are you around? I am. Let's okay. go on a date. Great. All right. We want to say thanks to all of our bachelors. You guys are awesome. Bye. Uh <laughs>
also to Naz uh, for trusting us. Uh, the Heartbroken Anonymous is teaming up with the Open Mindfulness app, so be sure to check out that collaboration. Okay, y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you.